guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another video. Now today we're back with the previews. We're going to be previewing Derby County versus Coventry City. A big game really at the bottom of the championship. Coventry City in a little bit of form now, just putting a couple of results together. Going up against bottom of the table Derby County, which I don't think any football fan would have predicted at the start of the season. No one would have put Derby County to be down there. So we're going to be dissecting this game. It's going to be interesting. We're going to go through that. I've also got a guest who's going to help me go through that, Leon. We'll hand over to him in a bit. Uh, just before we start, guys, uh, later tonight at 7pm when the FA Cup third round draw is going on, I'm going to be doing a live stream, so make sure to join me for that. We're going to be doing an FA Cup third round draw live stream, so uh, join me for that. Let's hope Conference City can get a decent draw. Uh, but yeah, as for this Derby game on the Tuesday night, it's going to be interesting. Uh, obviously, Derby County have only won the one game this season away to Norwich. Now, our last game was away to Norwich and we drew 1-1. Um, we come into this in better form than Derby. Their last result was a 1-1 against Wickham and things aren't looking very good for them, are they? Like I said, I didn't expect them to be down there at the start of the season. They just I feel like they'll find their feet at some point, but the longer it takes them, the worse their season's going to be. If they can improve before Christmas, then they should be able to get out of this. But if it takes until after December for them to start to improve, they could be in a relegation battle. Like I said, not many football fans would predict a club like Derby County to be down there, but they are They are struggling. Um, like I said, their last game was against Wickham, and that's one they would have wanted to win, and they didn't. So now they're going to look at this Coventry City game and target this. I think Derby County are going to go full on for this. For them, it's a must win. For Coventry City, it's an interesting one. Um, I suppose some fans could say it's a must win. Some fans would say, let's go and win this. They're bottom of the table. It's not as straightforward as that. I think some fans would probably be happy with a draw. But you know, like I said, some fans would be divided on that. I think it's more important for Derby to win this than Coventry just because of the severity of the position they're in at the moment. Not to say this isn't an important game for Coventry. Right now, Coventry stand at a bit of a crossroads of where we're going to go for this season because the start we got off to wasn't great um, performances were there but results weren't but since that last international break we've picked up five points from three games and things are just starting to build and if we can chuck another couple of games onto this unbeaten run we can start to climb away from that bottom three um, like I've said before Sheffield Wednesday brought in Tony Pulis Wickham are starting to improve Derby County might start to pick up results so the bottom three are going to start moving soon it's important that the teams above them including Coventry, move with them. Otherwise, you can get left behind and get sucked into that bottom three. Um, and it's an important run of fixtures now. After that Norwich game, we do have a favourable run of fixtures. We've got fixtures against uh, Derby County. We've got Rotherham coming up. We've got Luton. We've got Sheffield Wednesday. So we've got a run of games which Coventry fans might see as winnable. Not to say that they will be because, you know, they're all fighting for their lives. I mean, Luton Town, they're actually in the top half. But Sheffield Wednesday... Rotherham, Derby, they're all going to be fighting for those points as much as Coventry. So it's really important we get quite a few points out of these games because I've said before, December could make or break our season. And if we beat Derby and then get something against Rotherham and uh, Luton, we could give ourselves a really, really good chance of staying up this season. And hopefully we could stay up early this season. I don't want to go to the final day of the season and get uh, in, into a relegation battle then. I'd love to stay up with a few games to go. But um, yeah, like I said, December could make or break our season and we're starting it with this Derby game, which is going to be crucial. I'm going to hand over to Leon now. I'm going to let him dissect this game for you. So here is Leon. Okay, so Coventry City coming up against Derby this weekend. I think it's a game that could really divide opinion between Coventry City fans and Derby fans as both teams in a mixture of form, I'd like to say. Not even that, maybe. I think some fans would probably say Coventry out of the two are in better form, but not particularly much better. Derby haven't actually won a game since the start of October, meaning Coventry fans have probably got a lot more thought to be optimistic for this game. However, still going in, it's still an away game. It's what would be regarded in the Championship as a tough away game and one that we could certainly slip up in. And it also give Derby a bit of momentum to go on for the rest of the month. So obviously since saying before they've not won a game since the start of October, they can start to build on that and start to climb out of those relegation places that Coventry themselves are so near. So a big win here would, would really give Coventry confidence going on for the rest of the month. During the Christmas period where it's very busy games every week and you know, just climbing further and further. I don't think Coventry have got enough to build for a <laughs> you know, the playoffs, I think they should be able to hopefully settle around mid-table, but at the same time they might get pulled into that scrap of 
the relegation battle if their results don't pick up, unfortunately. Now, I think looking at this from a Coventry City fan's perspective, I think that this game, this is the massive game because we did really well to get the points from the Norwich game with a last minute winner. And so for, I think for this, the next two games, definitely there, there are chances that we can pick up points and then eventually further go on to pull ourselves out of the relegation scrap, as I mentioned before, and start to push towards the table and a bit of safety. So looking towards the end of the season, we're not worry, really worried about you know picking up points from the smallest of margins, picking up points out of nowhere, but we're just trying to continually fight against the lower teams and I think that's something that Conch need to try and avoid. And I think we've been really unlucky in games this season as well. Um, you know, losing against Nottingham Forest with a last minute penalty and just other results not really going our way. So I think this will be a tough one, but I'm gonna back the Sky Blues to come through and I'm going to go for a 3-2 win to Conchy City. Thanks for that then, Leon. Yes, I, I think this is a massive game. Like you said, it's a massive, massive game because it's not just Coventry fighting for three points for ourselves, but we're denying a team down the bottom points at the same time. And it's a massive result if we win or we lose. I mean, like I said, the implications if we lose, I think Derby are only six points below us, so they would cut that gap to three. But if we beat them, we, we make the gap nine points. You know, it's, it's that big of a game. And like I said, the teams at the bottom are starting to pick up results, so it is really important we continue uh, to pick up the results. As for the squad itself, Mark Robbins has changed his philosophy a little bit since the international break. Um, you've got to give him credit and say it's worked against Birmingham and Cardiff. You've got to say there were two resolute performances where the defence was on top. And even against Norwich, you can't say that they uh, got at us too much. They were quite good, but... Um, you know, I thought defensively out of the three games, it's been pretty good. Uh, and then even going forwards, we've, we've snuck a couple of goals. So if we can just keep going the way we are, I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, ben Wilson, credit's got to go to that man. I said he was my man of the match against Norwich City. Uh, fantastic performance from him. It's a massive boost of confidence. Fans were saying that if Lee Camp came in and took Morosi's place without Ben Wilson getting a chance, it could just ruin his confidence and... Um, it was, it was fair that Robbins gave him a game and uh, from what I saw, I'd give Ben Wilson the next game. I'd probably give him a good run of games if he keeps playing the way he is. And as for up top, we've got Tyler Walker scoring goals uh, and uh, it was nice to see Biamu get in with a goal at the weekend. So we've got plenty of goal threats. I think the midfield and defence are really pleasing me. The strikers, of course, are as well. But yeah, I'm excited for this derby game. I mean, it's been an interesting couple of games. Coventry City are going into this with a little bit of confidence. And um, yeah, like I said, it's an interesting game. I predicted a 2-1, Leon's predicted a 3-2, Harry predicted a 1-0, so we're all going for wins. But let's remember that Derby will give us a good game. Who knows? Maybe a draw's good enough, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Stick around for the live reaction of that on Tuesday night. And like I said, tonight, join me for a live stream of the FA Cup third round draw. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Peace out.